because I so believe that it is essential to work anything in Photoshop, especially out to print, without a calibrated monitor, I got to show you one more way to do it. This way does not rely on your eyes, doesn't rely on anything but a calibrated electronic device. It's called a spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R. You can buy them in all kinds of versions. I use the Pantone. I really like them. Pantone Color Spider Pro 2. That's the one I'm going to show you because I can't show you all of them. Good news is they are Mac and Windows compatible. So you don't have to worry about is it going to look different if I'm using this on Windows so I can show it to you once and it will work the same way on both. My system is already set up. You buy the Spider. It's an electronic device. It's USB. You plug it in. You load the software and then you activate the software. In my case, I can come down here on a Mac to a shortcut, and there she is. Windows, same thing. Just turn that program on. You should see something like this. Now, all programs will be a little bit different, but in what they do, it's the same. It's going to give you some information on what it's going to do, like Assistant will help you adjust your monitor, create a custom profile, which is what we want. Click Next. More information. Turn your monitor on. Allow it to warm up for an hour. Plug the spider in. Allow it to warm up for at least five minutes. Disable screen savers, timeout programs, that kind of stuff, because it's going to run for about 15 minutes before it's done. Make sure your monitor is in the lighting situation that you use when you do your work. All right, got all that stuff done. Don't forget to clean your monitor too. Click Next. Choose the monitor that you want to adjust. Here's a point you want to remember not all spiders do multiple monitor. If you have multiple monitors and you buy a low end spider, you may not be able to calibrate the second monitor, so be careful about that. We're going to click Next. We're going to just do one, obviously. Going to tell me what it is right now. Click Next again. Do you have brightness, contrast, and backlight controls? My monitor doesn't. It's all built into this Macintosh monitor. If I did have, I would check those. I would go check brightness, contrast, backlight. It would then make me change the settings on those to their defaults before it gets started. If you don't have them, this is an easier process because it does it automatically. The same thing if you click Next again. Do you have RGB sliders, Kelvin presets, or Kelvin sliders? If you don't, don't select them. And it makes the process more automated. Click Next again. You will now prepare the spider. Now you will notice there's this device right here that you can add on. See those suction cups? You never want to use those on an LCD monitor. If you've got an old CRT monitor, yes, because you're going to stick it to the monitor. But LCDs are not made out of glass. They're made out of plastic. And if you use those suction cups, you're going to wind up pulling the monitor apart. That's why they give you this piece right here, and that helps isolate these pieces here. Click Continue. Put your spider right where you see it in that image, just like in this photograph right here. I dangle the cable over the top and let it just gravity just Press it against the side just like that. Click Continue when you've got it in position. Remember, lighting and everything is where it's supposed to be. Once it's done, it will instruct you to remove that color meter, that spider, and basically you have a calibrated monitor. In my opinion, this is the only exact scientific mechanical way that you're going to get a perfectly calibrated monitor because eyes have too many problems with them. I don't care what your eyes are, they will be different than this device. If you can do it, and that's all I'm saying. If you can do it, get yourself a spider. Now, the good news is, is that if you have more than one computer, you can use the spider on more than one computer. You don't have to buy a spider for each one of your computers, so that can save you a little bit of money. But I really do recommend this if color is really important to you. Think about getting a spider. On to the next.